Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and a very great hello from Asad Yaqub from Lahore, Pakistan. Well, guys, another shining star, one of my students, Shilpa Sahni from India. She got, a, uh, she actually got grade 10 score in IELTS and that is listening 8.5, reading 8.5, writing 7 and speaking 7 and she achieved 8777. Now I'm going to talk to Shilpa and she's going to tell us her story or her success story, how she achieved 8.5, 8.5, 7 and 7 and that gave her 8777 and now she's going to fly to her destination. Let's just talk to her. Uh, hello, good evening Shilpa, how are you? Good evening sir, I'm fine. Uh, I would like to wish you a very happy Teacher's Day. Oh, what thank you. Ah, thank you very much indeed, Shilpa. I'm so happy. So I was just telling my viewers that Shilpa got two 8.5 and two sevens. So please tell us first introduce yourself, and then after after that tell us your story of IELTS. Sure, sure, sir. Uh, I am a working female, and I am a two kid. And uh, to be very precise, this was my second attempt of IELTS, and uh, my previous attempt uh, was not. I was just able to uh, secure a uh, band 6, that's it. And after that, I started watching your videos and I was a great follower of all your updates. Okay. And I subscribed to your channel as well. Okay. And uh, truly, it was a great help. And without this, it wouldn't have been possible. And I'm really delighted. And uh, you know, it feels so proud to have it's just kind of score. And uh, therefore, I just shared it with you as well that I was really happy with this. Thank you so much, sir. My Thanks pleasure. My pleasure, Shilpa. So, would you please tell us now module by module, listening. What was your plan? How how you took the test and how many tests you took like that? Uh, sir, when I started uh, appearing for this, uh, my first attempt was through BC. But uh, it was not very great. So, this time I went for ITB. And in IDP, the listening test was a day prior to my IDP attempt. Okay. So uh, in that, uh, I was quite pre uh, prepared because I started speaking to everyone in uh, this language because it is not a natural language to me. So it gave me a lot of confidence and I started attaining more vocab. I was quite uh, uh, good in reading as well. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, this helped me increase my vocabulary and, and that's how I appeared and I was quite confident when I appeared for that interview. Okay, that's great. So, what about reading? Are you a regular reader? Is reading your hobby? Uh, see, as I said, uh, I am a mother of two plus I am working, so I am rarely left with any time to read around and I go to my workplace while driving. So, I, I don't get time to read at all, very frank. Uh, but I had practiced a lot, so in this attempt, uh, the best way I did was uh, the way you had been uh, teaching in your videos that uh, you have to be regular in whatever you do. So I used to pick up one module every day and uh, you won't believe in this busy schedule I had to sit in my office, I had to go to my parking area and there I used to study a lot uh, for at least for one hour I used to attempt my exam, this mock test and uh, that's how I became quite regular in it and that's how I attained uh, Good marks Very good. That's amazing. So Shilpa, what did you do for writing? You see, writing is really a hard nut to crack and students are struggling and still they are getting 6, 6.5, but you got 7 in writing. So how did you make it possible? Uh, sir, uh, I followed uh, one of your tricks and tips wherein you prescribed that you have to follow that uh, proper structure of your answer. Right. So, if you are doing it and uh, if you are clear with your thought process, so the way you say that you have to be very clear like a slate and you just think about it, be a part of that situation and therein you will have more ideas wherein you can uh, think over it more and just jot it down on a piece of paper whatever ideas you're getting. So when I got the question paper, I jotted down whatever answers I could just think of, the ideas, the thoughts. And then uh, that's how I modulated my answer in a very structured way. And okay. I was able to secure seven band. Wow, that's amazing. And what about speaking? How was your speaking interview? Uh, speaking interview was uh, quite good. I was uh, 
I got a chance to uh, uh, have this interview with one of the senior females and he was uh, she was quite uh, uh, i mean she she looked very serious and uh, you know i in one of your videos you said you you don't have to get distracted their facial expressions is that so uh, i caught that moment of truth when i spoke to her and i presented my idea so i thought that once you get that confidence in the person who is sitting in front of you that eye contact is there so that's how you feel that uh, you are able to communicate the way you want to do it your ideas are clear and probably the person is also getting convinced Okay. So that's how it was. All right, fantastic. That's great. So Shilpa, what is your plan? I mean, are you going to Canada or somewhere else? Uh so actually I my husband is yet to appear for IELTS. So he is the one who is was a big factor throughout because obviously I am little younger to him, so I was a primary applicant, but we have been able to reach a CRS of 433. and uh, let's see if he attempts again and uh, he is able to uh, secure some eight eight band so we will be at 450 which i think is a safe cut off if you are looking for uh, uh, clb 450 or so so okay. probably that's how we are planning so i'm right. still waiting for the good news to happen okay that's great so shilpa what is your message to my subscribers who really want to get 877 and they are struggling so what what do you say to them uh so uh, i just want to give one message that just be regular in whatever you're doing uh you don't have to feel the pressure from within that you have to appear you have to get 877 you have to enjoy this i have actually enjoyed this journey of ielts to be very to be very frank i have enjoyed each and every part of it and it has not only uh, resulted in a better score for me but also the journey has been that good that now i feel more confident when i go out and speak to people so it's a journey of learning as well so be regular in whatever you do start loving the work you do and the results will follow this, this is the only message i have okay obviously you have to you have to follow mr asad yaku for that and i have been die hard fan of yours and <laughs> i really want to thank from the core of my heart oh. for whatever effort you have done and whatever drama you put in your videos i really love <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Shilpa. No, seriously, I am really, I am, I am really speaking from the core of my heart, and uh, you know whatever gestures you gave, and I still remember the way you had been, uh, you know, behaving like a, a typical female janani, and you know <laughs> the facial expression you were giving. I just loved that video. To be very proud. Okay, so, okay, Shilpa, that's really so great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you, Shilpa. Take care. Okay, pleasure. Take thank care. You, thank, thank, you so thank, you. Bye -bye. thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. So Shilpa made it possible. You can just see her TRF as well. Listening eight point five, reading eight point five, writing seven, speaking seven. So the message she gave is. enjoy your journey of ielts do it with commitment every day you should practice every day you should do something which is related to ielts and enjoy your journey don't let any pressure be built inside you just enjoy that without any pressure and then one day you'll be able to get your required band in her first attempt she got six band in some modules as well and then she tried again and she made that possible two 8.5s and two 7s shilpa once again i'm truly thankful to you the way you sent me the message and the way you thanked me and the way you described everything this is really lovely I wish you all the best and may your husband also get the same magic band score and then may you enjoy with your two kids in uh, Canada and you know this is going to be a happy life over there. Thank you very much guys if you like this video hit the like button and now subscribe my channel. I run another channel Sad Yakub Vlogs you can subscribe to that as well. I also teach IELTS online if you want to join my online IELTS classes my WhatsApp number is given you can contact me for that. Once again I wish you all all the best especially I wish all the best to Shilpa that she uh, she gets I mean she got her required band and now her husband is going to get the required bands and then they are going to fly to Canada and then definitely Shilpa you're going to send me your selfie from Canada with your family thank you very much take good care of yourselves all the best allah hafiz